hi guys welcome back to my channel it's ash babes aka normal Go magic hair and if you haven't yet please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and do the things that need to be done right here on this channel now with that being said oh my gosh i miss you guys so much sorry that i've been mia for so long um i don't even have I don't even have like a valid excuse of why I was MIA. I just feel like I was feeling a little bit, you know, demotivated, if that makes sense. So, um, I just needed that little bit, little break, if you want to call it that, vacation. <laughs> you know, from, um, from YouTube for a minute. But um, I'm back now and I'm better. And I just want to say thank you guys for bringing us to 3,000. 3,000 subscribers. I thank each and every one of you guys that has that has subscribed, that has liked, that have watched my videos and all those things. I really, really appreciate you guys' support. And with that being said, Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. I know I'm like maybe two, three weeks late, but happy 2021, you know. Um, 2020 was a um, rough year for all of us, you know. But we are glad, you know, um, that we have made it through 2020 um, and we hope that 2021 will just be, you know, better and um, and more blessings to everybody. And uh, we just pray that we, um, we make it through, you know, it's absolutely like we just pray that um, this Corona subsides and, you know, we get back to our normal lives but for now we just gotta do what we gotta do and be safe out there guys wear your mask social distance stay at home and you know do what you have to do to to keep yourself safe and to keep others safe as well in the meantime with that being said that's just a long long rant or whatever you want to call it but um the other day on instagram i made like a like a post of confessions you know like confessing whatever i mean who am i the priest for people to confess to me but whatever it was just supposed to be like a fun light video um obviously i won't mention names um it's gonna be totally anonymous and just you know just just for the fun of it so we're gonna do a confessions i'm gonna read out the confessions and i guess give my advice or give my you know two cents of about it if that makes sense so yeah let's get right back into the video guys well, all right so um Wait, where is it at? This uh, Wow. So yeah, I think I'm, we maybe can do like five confessions or so. Obviously, like I said, I'm not gonna show names, so I can't be showing you guys. Maybe you might see somebody name and be like, eh. So yeah, with that being said, let's start. The first confession is, I gave birth a year ago and it isn't my husband's child. what it's not your husband's child but you're basically doing a disservice to your child because you can lie all you want lie all these years and do all those things but at the end of the day it's not going to affect you as much as it's going to affect the child it's going to affect the their identity where they come from their roots they're always going to be like what oh my god just imagine guys you think somebody's your parent right for you know let's say maybe 21 years and then you come to find out that the person is not your real parent like imagine the turmoil and the disappointment and the hurt and the resentment you will have against your parent so i just feel like um I know it's not gonna be easy, but I feel like you just have to tell your husband and your child that, you know, this is not what it is. And what are you doing out here, lady? Relax, what is happening, guys? <laughs> so yeah, with that being said, um, the second confession is my cousin and I have, my cousin and I have been in a sexual relationship for the past three years. This is my first cousin, so which means if it's a first cousin, that would mean that um, the person in, like my mom and your mom, my sisters or my mom, 
my dad and your dad are brothers sisters brother and sister you know whatever it is it is still first cousins now that's um some shiramoe things <laughs> you know the hereros the hereros do that um so it's not something that's foreign um but for i mean in my culture we don't do that so i mean i can't really say if it's a yay or nay but mm, for me personally that's crazy what are you doing what are we doing ma'am why are you sleeping with your cousin i mean there's so many men so many guys in this world and then you decide to sleep with your cousin your first cousin at that that's just nasty anyway moving on weirdo um the third confession is is this real or people just making up the shit as they go the third confession is my g my girlfriend asked me to drop her friend off at home after we had a bride at our place she stayed home so that she can tidy up while i was driving the friend put her hand on my private parts few seconds later she gave me head while i was driving my girlfriend never found out <laughs> Oh Lord, y'all are gambling with your lives, man. Wow. 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 That is not a friend, first of all. That is low down dirty things. Like, I don't understand. I don't even know what to say. Um, I hope your girlfriend finds out and drop your ass, first of all. You should be left because you are nasty and disgusting, sir. You and that friend, that trifling friend. Six months. morals. Ah! But anyway, the fourth confession is I think my neighbor is busy with witchcraft. I'm pretty sure as a Namibian, as an African, we know uh, almost everybody's neighbor is busy with witchcraft. <laughs> blood fun Jesus. <laughs> All I can say is say blood fun Jesus, keep prayed up and uh, I think there's no witchcraft or no nothing bigger than God. And I know if you ask it, ask it on a reflect of an era play, ask it, play button means a play button. Okay, we had no it V as eight and V as bad and V to unbate. So this all day better to but to pray, to pray, to pray for everybody, for yourself, for your household, for your children, for your parents, for your siblings, for your friends, for your um husband whatever it is just stay prayed up guys that's all we can do and there's nothing bigger than god that's all i gotta say amen Woo! almost became a preacher there hey we're gonna die so anyway the fifth confession a confession is say a confession <laughs> sorry confession <laughs> my english guys <laughs> the english bundles are being depleted and the fifth confession is i had a quickie with my friend's boyfriend when i slept over at their place my friend was drunk and in bed while we did our thing <laughs> this is what i'm saying you know this is going to be and this is going to be advice to people that are in serious relationships committed relationships or people that are uh, married or whatever it is um it's always safer for your mental health for your family um and you know overall for your household to keep friends at a distance don't let your friends sleep over your place at your place especially when you don't trust your friend or you trust your man because at the end of the day men are men and women are trifling and men are hoes <laughs> and um people you know sometimes when people drink their true feelings and true meanings and true intentions come out you know and as a person you trust this person to bring them in your household and then um that type of things happen so if you are in a committed relationship just make sure you keep um friends that are arm's length um 
and don't drink too much also and uh cream i drink wise drink uh shange drink tan opa apa hai sa se so a my skin hai sa so a u so a ta de ne de de hello come and meet 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 ulterior motives so you need to be wise you need to open your eyes you need to not bring your friends around your men point blank period am i so guy cease kill mut but let's go drum all right we got more confessions i think i'm going to take three more and then we're going to wrap it up Somebody says my man's private parts always are always musty and he don't believe me when I tell him. <laughs> Ew gross. First of all, your man needs to take a bath. Doesn't he know there's something as soap, water and a shower or bucket? Wash your things, man. Pasanan. Na gele ni bath yo vat. Some of the men are like sleep bath. You see, Ray Higella, it stunk. Sis man, wash your things. <laughs> That's all I can say. And before you go down, <laughs> before you do things, um, make sure the person takes a bath. Man, woman, <laughs> whoever it is, gross. Anyway, moving along. I love bad bitches. That's my effing problem. <laughs> Is that a confession? Okay, sir. Okay. Who cares? Move along with your basic self. Anyway, the next confession is I peed on my girl while she while she was asleep and I liked it. How do I convince to convince her to let me pee on her regularly? <laughs> What in the fetish is going on, guys? Why would you pee on somebody while they sleep? That's plain nasty and disgusting and low down dirty. And then the person wakes up, uh, and then you wake up, uh, smiling like pee, thinking, oh, did I pee on myself? And now you want me to convince your girlfriend to pee? so you can pee on her regularly sir sir stop get out your head oh oh daina is not liquid get inesis move along how do i convince my woman to live a polygamy lifestyle with me um <laughs> well first of all I believe in this theory, right? Um everything is for everybody. Everything is not for everybody. Come on, everything is for everybody. It's say everything is not for everybody, you know. Some things are not for somebody like just like um let's say for instance food, right? I like watermelon. You might not like watermelon. Um I like I might like meat. You might not like meat. You might not like chicken. I might like chicken. Um but I believe um in this theory where um if something is for you, if something is for your palate, if that makes sense, it is for your palate and I'm pretty sure um if your woman is not convinced to live that life, that's just maybe not her portion. That's not maybe what she wants to do, but I'm pretty sure there are other women um out there that that are fine with that type of lifestyle. You know, and I know um there's a lot of people that practice that lifestyle. It's not something foreign. Um and I'm pretty sure there are a lot of women that that are fine with that that type of lifestyle. So I would say that um as you say your woman doesn't like that your woman doesn't want to do that um let her that let that be her choice let that that be her prerogative let that um let her decide what she wants you know if you want that um i would suggest that you 
and if you really want that um and if you think that you can't compromise in that aspect and i don't think that's something compromisable i feel like you just need to tell your woman um and then if she decides that she wants to do it that then fine but if she doesn't then i feel like you need to release her into the atmosphere to the environment so she lives her life, her best life, you live your best life and you know because at the end of the day you only live one life and I believe that if you want to do something you should just go ahead and do it but also um, give the person whoever it is a choice to choose what they want for their themselves well with that being said guys thank you guys for watching um, I hope this video was not long winded because uh, ain't nobody got time for that um and um yeah basically thank you guys for watching and don't forget to <laughs> subscribe like share and comment and uh, this number go signing out <laughs> bye bye guys <laughs>